Join the Classic Game Room community to get your questions answered on Thursday CGR Q&A. The following review has been approved by Lord Garnet and the best of Classic Game Room. Sega Master System Week continues with Assault City on the Sega Master System, a game that seems like it should be played with the Sega Light Phaser, but it isn't, even though it should. Assault City. This game begins with a shooting gallery scene where you move your cursor around the screen using your Sega Master System controller and shoot robots. Or you're supposed to. If you do well, the game is really hard. If you do poorly and make mistakes, then Assault City is much easier. Either way, it feels really half-baked. This features a pretty in-depth story for the era and some nice-looking artwork. Setting the stage for this horrible post-apocalyptic future where you're shooting robots or something and then drops you into what feels like it should be a light gun shooting game, except it isn't. You move the cursor around the screen using the D-pad on your Sega Master System controller. Shooting enemies before they shoot you. Scoring points. Saving the future. But doesn't the future have light guns? The Sega Master System does. And that's where it all goes wrong. Now it's not until after I played this game that I discovered there's two versions of Assault City. This one and the one that does use the Sega Light Phaser. So it's like the physical copy of a downloadable patch. For what it's worth, that makes reviewing this game a lot easier because I can recommend the game stylistically. I think the art is really cool. I, I like the storyline. I like the music. I even like the gameplay if I could just use the Sega Light Phaser. So basically, just be careful which version of Assault City you buy. Apparently, the light gun supported one has a red picture of a light gun on the front of the packaging. I don't actually have the packaging because this was sent to the show by my man Alexander from Diesborg, Germany, who sent the wrong version of the game. Alexander, did you know? Did you know that you broke my heart? Because you did. As you play through Assault City, you have a life meter and you level up your gun by shooting the silver floaty things and then collecting the red power-ups that look like they come straight out of Musha or robo -Alest. I think shooting the yellow one is bad. That seems to take power away from the gun, even though it's actually just the Master System D-pad. What'd they, what'd they do? Did they release the game and then realize, whoops, <laughs> we forgot to support the, the light gun peripheral. My bad. I think that's exactly what they did. And you know they had this meeting where this one guy was in the corner sweating through his shirt, thinking to himself, is it, is it expensive to re-release a game? Maybe nobody will notice the internet doesn't exist yet, so Classic Game Room won't have a chance to cover it. <laughs> Until now. Now you're busted. So thanks again to Alexander from Diesborg, Germany, who's already on the map, and I was going to point to it with the Sega Light Phaser, but instead I'll just use the D-pad on the Master System controller. It's Assault City, a game I had never heard of, and I think it's a really cool game. Just be careful which version you buy, because you want the one that uses the Sega Light Phaser. At least I think you do. I haven't played that version yet. But, from what I can tell, it should be very cool. Assault City.
The Best of Classic Game Room is now on DVD, Blu-ray, and Hyper Laser Vision Album Set.